they are the best when it comes to putting out fires. Make What's going on guys? We just touched down in Fort Myers, Florida. We touched down, we're going to a Gravely event here this week. We got a bunch of the lawn care guys, a bunch of the guys in the community. Let's have them introduce themselves, plug their channel, plug whatever. In that hair, we always plug like Nat bro. <laughs> Oh, your name is Andy, <laughs> and you can find me at Cut and Clean Lawn Care and or G4 Outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kelsey Houseman with Kelso's Clippers Lawn Care from Sedalia, Missouri. Uh, Kelso's Clippers Lawn Care on Instagram and Facebook. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Seth the Lawn Surgeon. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We just got to the hotel. Pretty sweet room right here. I'm telling you what, nice room. So we're gonna take you around a little bit. Siege. Riley. We have a steel dealership right over there. Yeah. Pretty sweet steel dealership. So it's a good view from here. I cannot complain. Taz. Yeah. Set me free and give me death. There ain't no other choices. When got done eating we're back at the hotel now I'm going down to talk business with some people I don't know we'll just talk about whatever but dinner was good I put in a little clip from dinner but it was good it was fun I sat across the table from Steve Aaron's and Nick Aaron's the owner's sons Dan Aaron's sons man those guys were a lot of fun to talk to like I, I just like hearing about other people's businesses and knowing knowing what's up with other people's businesses and like seeing the different, I, I don't know, I just like seeing their business from their eyes and kind of just having that mindset for a future business opportunity to come up. That's what I like seeing and it was a really great dinner with those guys. Day two of the Gravely Event Rally. We're here at Fort Myers. We're headed to Sebring, Florida today to test out the equipment. If you don't have green grass in your area, this video is a premium because we're getting you live footage of green grass being mowed, striped, cut to perfection. So watch on, hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be a great day for us. Hope you guys like this series. Day one was great. I'll give you a recap of the whole event at the end. So stay tuned, watch on. Alright guys, we have arrived. I sat with Stan Genetic. There he is over there on the bus. Lots of good stuff to learn from him. He's even better in person than on his YouTube videos, even though his YouTube videos has a lot of good stuff on it. But we learned so much here on that bus ride. Our bus ride, you'd be surprised what you can learn from that. We are around the conference table right now, just watching race cars go by. Check out everybody around the table. If, if anything does fail during the test cycle here, it is sent back to our test lab in Wisconsin. It is taken apart, evaluated what truly failed and what caused the failure. We'll look at it from a the physical components and we'll also look at it in a CFD or um, other types of analysis, uh, I guess, analysis of the CAD models. Uh, from there, we'll make our design changes that we need, and then bring it back down. And the test starts completely over to life for the first round of DB. Uh, before uh, and at that point in time, then we go into our second phase of testing. Two steps of testing, which is DB. That's the design validation, which is does it work as the CAD model shows. Really, it's it's validating a concept 
And then once we've validated the concept, yes, it works as intended, then we try to make as much of it as possible through production tooling. And then it comes down to full, run a full round of testing again in uh, production validation, PV testing. So again, the whole, the whole cycle runs again, but with the machine that's supposed to be off production tooling. So all these machines have gone through, depending on the product group, but it's, it's always hundreds if not thousands of hours of testing. So we have a full model of the entire machine that we create in CAD. And in CAD, you can actually do stress analysis, right? You can put a load on the machine, you can put a load on the frame and on the deck. So you understand in a computer how it works. That's the first step. And that's really the most expensive part because that's where you're doing all the detailed design. The second step is the design validation, as Doug mentioned. So we take that same design in a computer and we put instruments on the entire frame and we see, okay, once you put it out, once you actually build it and put it into a working environment, does it do the same thing that it did in the computer? 95, 98% of the time, yeah, it's, ex yeah. it's exactly what you did in the computer. Every once in a while, things don't match, but the validation is, okay, we've got a design that we like in, the, in a computer, now when we go to a production intent, does it work? And that's really the work that we do down here. Yep. We just finished up a little meeting. We're walking with Andy, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. AKA Nike Shirts, Andy. <laughs> yep, so we're walking to the testing facility now. Pretty sweet stuff we're about to see. Hey, what's up? going to lunch we just took a look at all the equipment we haven't demoed anything yet but we're taking a look at all the equipment and walking here with Stan genetic what's up guys I'm walking with Eddie that's what matters <laughs> he's not walking with me I'm walking with him all right and I'm also walking with Trey from gravely product manager so pretty awesome talking to these guys if and you're from Minnesota you pronounce it gravely 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 <laughs> I have friends that call it gravely so it stands another one. Uh -huh. a lot of, I always try and say it's, it's just a lawnmower, you know, and, and something went wrong or something's going well, but it's but at the end of the day, it's not just a lawnmower. It's it's the whole experience that the lawnmower brings, right? It either makes yes. you money, it doesn't make you money, uh, and when you're making money, you're happy. So we're gonna go test out some equipment now. While we're walking up on two YouTubers right here, we got Naylor, lawn care rookie. What's hey. Up? Uh, hey, we got Top Notch. Everybody knows Top Notch. He's like Stan because he's got that recognition. But we're walking with him. So, hey, I, something's going on here. So, always having a good time walking with these guys. Guys, this is the dream shop. This is the dream setup shop type deal Gravely's got going on here at their test facility. One you get to watch race cars go out there then you come back in work on your mowers it doesn't get much better than that they got an atlas in here they're working on and then they got a uh, pro qxt over there that they're working on they literally want to run until they drop and they're not going to make uh, engineering decisions here they're going to make engineering decisions up in wisconsin where their factory's at and then they bring it down here to test it and run until it drops Test and fail, test and fail, test and fail until they get a product that uh, suits their needs, suits our needs actually. So I find that really cool, really impressive how much testing they do. That's a lot of money they're putting into testing. And that's just sweet to see coming out of a company that I use, a company that I'll buy from, and now that I can trust.
actually a vehicle built for landscapers, uh, not a recreational vehicle. Here we gotta buckle up because look who's driving. That guy's driving. So we're gonna probably die. I uh we gotta close the door. Hey, we gotta close the door. There it is. just found a new way to put out a fire right here. Let's check it out. These sure cans, I mean, they are the best when it comes to putting out fires. Make sure you use E85. It doesn't burn as clean as regular, but it'll put out any fire on the market, I guarantee it. Yeah, it surely can. You can find these at most of your, uh, you know, big box stores like Reebok and Nike. They have a lot of this stuff in there. Uh, 365 days of unlimited ground shipping, which is cool, because that means if you buy it in January, there's a good chance at least you'll get it by December, right? So that's not bad. So, yeah, dude. so you can start putting out fires as early as December? Yeah, I carry one of these on the mower just in case I have a fire that breaks out and I can just, you know, dump gas right on it, put it right out. You know? That seems neat. Every yeah. business needs one of those. Yeah. And that's the suit you want to wear, that way you don't <laughs> die after you do it. <laughs> Bistro 41. Bistro 41. It's going to be good. I know it. It's going to be fun. Guys, we just got back from dinner last night. It was an awesome dinner. You guys will see the footage from that. So, it was, it was a lot of fun. We got to meet a lot of great people here on this trip. I mean, first of all, the sons of the owner were here. So, they, they were a blast to be with and talk to and all their experiences with the company and them telling us about what they did to the equipment at their test facility, what was the craziest stuff they've done. And it was just a lot of fun to do that. And yeah, it, it just was. So hopefully you guys liked today. Tomorrow we are leaving. So we're gonna get a good wrap up talk. I'll give you guys the wrap up of the whole trip. I'll be sitting at home doing that. Now you're gonna see some airport footage, plane footage, walking footage, and you name it, we got it on this next part of the vlog. We are wrapped up here at the hotel. We are going downstairs to meet Andy with Cut and Clean Lawn Care, his wife, and then Kelsey with Kelso's Lawn Clippings. And so, we'll be on the plane here in a bit. We're at the Fort Myers Airport sitting with Andy here. I'm going to ask him what he thought of the event, what's his takeaway. Experience is always great. I've been hanging out with the Gravely people for a long time, and they never change. They're always great, great people. As you guys know, I purchased my mowers for the reasons that I needed to, which was they work for the big dude. They work for the big guy. And they've been a great brand for me ever since, so for sure, man. Knowledge, getting to talk to all these guys, all the other peers in the industry that are there, and just soak up as much information as possible. I just thought it was insane how we got to meet the owner uh, and his sons. His sons were awesome, fun to talk to, and they actually knew their product. It's not like corporate America where they don't know their product, whereas like I'm trying to think of a bigger mower company like Toro that the owner probably doesn't know about 
individual spindles, the, the motor on it, the hydros on his product on his. The only other person that's high up I can think is right. Yeah. You know, he'll, he, he'll, he knows. He'll be. Yeah. But a lot of the other companies, you're not going to see him at a GIE event. Yeah. Especially not for four or five hours, like you'll see Dan Aaron's there. Yeah. You're not going to. Yeah. You're not going to see the owner. You're not going to. If you do see the owner, he's not going to know what you're talking about on your Toro grandstand, something like. That. Probably not. But. But that, the main thing you guys need to take away from this right now is you need to go over to Cut and Clean Lawn Care and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and don't forget to go to G4 Outdoors and hit the subscribe button. That's the main thing you that, got to take that's from this. Hey, yeah. hey, hey Kelsey, what did you, you, you think about what you think about the event on Instagram? It was a uh, very humbling experience. Um, like uh, like he said, the uh, the knowledge that we take away from it uh, is probably one of the most awesome things. Seeing the the fifth generation Arians and meeting the owner, the fourth generation. Um, it was a pretty awesome experience. Uh, and I've been with them for a long time, four years now. I think I've been running their product and it's it's been amazing. Their, their machines are top of the line. So guys, that's gonna wrap this vlog up. Hope you guys like the vlog. Hopefully you like the smaller videos. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because we're unleashing new content all the time. Unleashing the beast. So hit the subscribe button and see you guys in the next one.